Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to make view charts more interactive by adding tooltips to them. Look at this example where a Syncfusion's view column series chart is showing the gold medals won by different countries in the Olympic Games. Here, you can easily interact with the chart and get more information about these data points in a tooltip by moving the mouse over specific data points. Now, let me show you how to write the code to add and customize tooltips in view charts. I open an existing view application where I have already added the view charts component with basic properties. I have defined a chart series in a column chart and bound Olympic data to it. I have imported the chart plugin from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and registered it globally inside the API view.use to register all child directives globally. Also, I have imported the column series module from same package and injected it in the provide option. If you would like to know how to create a view app and add Syncfusion components to it, click the video link in the card above. You can also find a reference link in the description below. I save the application and run it with the command npm run serve. Here, you can see the view column chart. Next, I will show you how to make the view charts component more interactive by adding tooltips to it. First, I import the tooltip module from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and inject it in the provide option. Then, I define the variable chart tooltip and enable the tooltip by defining the enable property as true. I assign this variable to the tooltip property. In the tooltips, I am going to display data point information clearly, so I will define the name property and set appropriate value to it. See the output with a tooltip shown for every data point of the chart. Next, I am going to show how to map the data source field in the tooltip. To do that, I will add field text to the existing data source and assign values to it. Then, I will add format property and set the specified tooltip content. Now, I will define the tooltip mapping name property and map the data source field text to it. Along with this, I plan to show a header in the tooltip, therefore, let me add a header property with appropriate value. Look at the output, the data source field is shown in the tooltip of the chart. Next, I will show how to format the tooltip content to show the data point information in a customized style. Here, I am going to format the tooltip to show series name and gold medal count in the chart tooltip. So, I will assign the series value and y axis value here. To continue further, I will remove the property tooltip mapping name from the chart code. See the chart output, which displays the tooltip with series information for every point. Now, I will format the tooltip using an HTML template. To do that, first I need to remove these existing properties from this chart tooltip variable and define the template property. I am planning to show tooltip information in table format, so let me define the table structure using the HTML table tag. Then, I will assign X and Y values. Here, I will apply some CSS styles to customize the table structure in the tooltip. Now, when you look at the chart output, you can see the tooltip displayed with the custom table design. Alright, finally, I am going to show you how to customize and enhance the look of the tooltip using the fill and border options of the tooltip. Here, the fill option is used to customize the background color and border is used to set the border width and color. I am planning to set the border for the tooltip, therefore, I will remove the template section from the chart tooltip variable. Then, I will add the border property with the properties width and color. Look at the output page now, the defined border color and width are applied to the chart tooltip. Let me summarize the main points we discussed in this tutorial. We have seen how to add tooltips to Syncfusion view charts and how to format the tooltip content with both HTML and custom template values. Also, we discussed how to enhance the look of the tooltips by adding borders to them. If you would like to see a working example from this video, you can download one from the GitHub link shared in the description below. I have also included a link where you can check if you qualify for our community license, which gives you a free license key for our entire view component suite.
If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.